Start in a comfortable seated position. You can sit on a block if you like. Hands to the knees. Start to inhale deeply and exhale deeply. With your eyes closed, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. And just let the weight of your head relax through the side of your neck. Inhale. And exhaling, bring your chin back to center and then left ear, left shoulder. Try to relax your eyes and your jaw. And then back and forth, inhaling in one direction and exhaling in the other. times inhale and exhale bringing your chin back to center go ahead and lift the chin up and maybe open the eyes to half mass nice soft gaze inhale the arms up and exhaling bring your right hand down and lift it open to the side Roll your right ribs towards the sky. And up you go, inhale. And exhale, lift and open. And let's just go with the breath a few times. Inhale, lengthen, right hand down, lift and open. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. All right, coming back up one more time. Bring the hands out in front of you and come into tabletop. And if you've been to my classes, you know I like this move. Bring your knees together and your hands as wide as your mat. Drop your head, organically move. You're gonna bring the hips side to side, round in a circle. Just organically move. So remember, anytime that something doesn't feel good today, modify. If you need a break, you can stop and grab some water, or come back down to child's pose. Couple more big circles. Maybe tuck your toes under, bring your hips to your heels, stir the pot. Coming back to center, go ahead and set up an aligned tabletop. So the knees under the hip bones, the wrists under the shoulders, fingers spread. Inhaling in through the nose, chin up, tailbone towards the sky. Soft through the lips, exhale all the way through your nose. Inhale, open up, cow pose. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Two more times, inhale, reach your ribs towards the ground. Exhale, round the back. Inhale. And exhale it out. All right, coming back to neutral spine, let's work the wrists a little bit. So flip the fingertips towards you. And tuck your toes again and rock back and forth. Nothing forced. And then I like to get into the fingertips, with the fingers. So bend the elbows and come onto the fingers. And then releasing one hand at a time, rotate the wrists. And 
from here, we're going to come into Anahata, Puppy Pose. So keep your hips stacked right over your knees. Walk your hands out and press the chest towards the floor. Maybe the forehead comes to the floor, maybe not. Traction by dragging your hands towards you. And then pressing into your palms, snake all the way forward to your belly. Bring your feet hip width distance, toenails down, fingertips to the sides. Bhujangasana as you inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Only coming up as high as it feels good to your lower back. Last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Bring your hands up back under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under in one unit. Press it up to high plank. Make sure your joints are aligned, shoulders over elbows over wrists, nice strong legs. Pushing the floor away. Growing long from the crown of your head to your heels. Inhale. As you exhale, send your hips high. Downward facing dog. Pedal this out. Again, that same organic movement. Movement through the hips, the shoulders, letting the head hang heavy. So we're going for that inverted V here. So you might have to bend your knees to get there. In this first down dog, my heels are not even coming close. So maybe that's happening to you. No big deal. Inhaling, really get long from the crown of your head to your tailbone, melting the heels towards the ground. All right, we're going to go through a little bit of a modification of a vinyasa, and you can always use this instead of chaturanga through the practice. Inhale to your toes. Exhale, come forward to plank. Bring your knees to the floor, keeping the toes tucked, tucked hips to heels. Pressing into your palms, round the back as you come back through tabletop, ending back in downward facing dog. All right, we'll do that with the breath. Inhale to your toes. Exhale, lead with the shoulders super strong to plank. Inhale, dot the knees to the floor. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, rounding the back, back through. Exhale, downward facing. How about one more time? Inhale to toes. Exhale to plank. Dot the knees on the floor. Hips to heels. Inhale, round the back. Come back through. Adho Svanasana, downward facing dog. Bend your knees a lot. Press your chest toward your thigh bones. And walk your feet to the top of the mat for ragdoll. So once you get there, widen your stance. You can start by bringing your torso right onto your thigh bones. And then grab opposite elbows, or maybe you wanna do a little traction, maybe clasp the hands behind your head um, to any kind of forward fold. All right, coming back to center, soften both knees, a little bit bent, bring the left hand in the center of your stance. Inhale the right arm high, can rotate your shoulder and your wrist. And come back to center. Inhale, left arm high. Rotate the wrist and the shoulder. Come back to forward fold. Bring your feet either toes to touch or you can choose to keep them underneath the hip bones. Soften the knee joints. You're going to flip the palms. Rise all the way up to standing. And bring the hands to your heart center. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach up. This time, cactus the arms open through your heart. Again, inhale, lengthen up to the sky. Open heart, exhale. All right, a standing sun A. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Again, bend the knees, drop the head. 
Bring your fingertips to your shins. Lengthen. Inhale. Shoulders on your back. Exhale. Fold. Flip the palms. Rise up like you're lifting something heavy. Open your heart. Exhale. Inhale. I wish I could hear you breathing. Exhale. Forward. Fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. All right. This time, plant your hands. Let's come to high plank. Feel free to use the, the vinyasa modification by dropping your knees. If you want, you can come to Chaturanga, Top Dog, or all the way down to Cobra. And we'll always meet in Downward Facing Dog. So a couple sun A's. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Flip the palms, rise up. Inhale, breath. Open the heart, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Plant your hands. High plank. Any version. Chaturanga, don't go past 90 degrees on those elbows. Up dog, belly button between the thumbs. Downward facing dog. Just one more. Inhale. Bend the knees, look forward top of your mat. Fingertips to the shins. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise up. Inhale. Open your heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Your vinyasa. All the way through to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg high. As you exhale, slowly bring your right knee to your nose. Hollow out the belly. Hug it in. Create space here. And step the foot on the inside of your right thumb. Your right knee is directly over your ankle. Your feet have their own train tracks, right? They're not a tightrope. They have separate tracks. On your inhale, press your hip points down and lift your chest. As you exhale, straighten both legs. And feel free to shorten your stance. If you have blocks, you can use the blocks under your hands. Draw your right hip point back, left hip point forward. And we're gonna just hold for a few breaths here. Inhaling as you lengthen your sternum. Exhale as you fold. You can hold the static pose, but don't forget the breath. No yoga without the breath. One more breath. And then we're going to flow between low lunge and pyramid. So step it back. Low lunge. Inhale, pressing the hip points down, lift the chest. Exhale, fold into pyramid. Two more. Inhale, press the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, pyramid fold. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back to low lunge, drop your left knee to the floor. I want you to keep your left toes tucked. Coming into crescent moon, come all the way up, lengthening the side body. All right, if this bugs your lower back, just simply bring your hips back. Inhale. Open through the heart. Press into the left toes. Bring the torso straight up. Bring the palms to touch, your hands to your heart. And then lengthen forward. Bring the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Lengthen one more time and then twist. Bring in your thumbs to your heart space. <clears throat> Stay right here. Or if you want a little extra challenge, come up lifting the left leg. Gently encourage the right shoulder open. And again, the thumbs are, they're moving towards your heart space. Come back to center. Drop the left knee if it's lifted. Crescent moon again, inhale. This time using your leg strength. Airplane arms, up you go, crescent lunge. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lengthen your neck. On an inhale, 
Drop the hands, open it up, warrior two. So your alignment, back foot parallel to the back of your mat, front toes straight forward, your right knee's tracking over the right pinky toe. All right, we're gonna move into Skandasana from here. So just bring your hands to your heart. And then you're gonna bend the left knee and straighten the right. All right, so in this first one, we're gonna really stretch out the right hamstring. You can stay up here, especially if you have some knee issues. If it's okay with your knee, come all the way down. Right? And maybe press the left tricep into your left thigh, and you can bring the right arm high. All right, coming back to Skandasana with the hands to the heart. Inhale, open the arms up, come back to warrior two, and just double check your footprint. Inhale, as you exhale, extended side. So right elbow to the knee, left hand to the sky, right? Or drop the right hand, we'll hold this first one. Open through the left side body, the left shoulder, the left hip. And we're gonna move into horse or goddess pose, whichever you feel like today. So turn the toes out, bring the hands to your heart. Sink your hips, keep drawing your knees over your pinkies. Bring your hands to your knees. Press the chest forward, inhale. As you exhale, drop the left shoulder and gaze over the right. Come back to center, inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, drop the right shoulder. Come back to center, bring the hands back to the heart. Inhale. As you exhale, keep lowering down. You're gonna bring your hands to the floor, turn your toes so they're parallel. Wide leg forward fold. So you can simply walk your hands underneath. You can grab your big toes or the outsides of your feet. And if you need something, you can put something under your hands if the floor seems far away. One more breath. Bring the hands under your shoulders. Inhale halfway. And then exhale, walk it around back to low lunge. This time, left hand down. Left shoulder right over your wrist. We're going to come to twisted low lunge. Right arm goes high. And this first time through, let's do a quad stretch. So drop the left knee. Reach the back wall with your right arm. And then bring the left foot up. So maybe you can grab the pinky side of that foot. Maybe not. Just reach for it. If you can, pull towards you and twist. Try to stay rooted through all four corners of your right foot. One more breath. And then gently release, vinyasa. So step it back, high plank, any variation. Chaturanga, up dog, to downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg goes high. Like you're moving through molasses, bring the left knee, hug it into the nose. Step your foot on the inside of the left thumb. Knee over ankle, feet on train tracks. Inhale, press the hips down, lift the chest. Exhale, fold into pyramid, and we hold this first one. So again, you can shorten up the stance. You can pull the, you want a nice flat back. So pull the right hip forward, the left hip back. Inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you fold. Blocks are very handy in this posture if you have tight hamstrings. All right, let's flow here. Step it back to low lunge, super strong posture here, almost like you can float your hands up. Inhale, exhale, fold. Two more, inhale, 
exhale fold. Last one, inhale, exhale fold. Coming back to low lunge, drop the right knee to the mat. Keep those right toes tucked, crescent moon. See how much length you can get in your side body here. Lengthen up, open a little bit through the heart. Again, you can shift the hip points back slightly if this feels too intense in your lower back. All right, bring the arms straight up to the sky, hands, palms to touch, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen. Right elbow to the outside of the thigh. And I like one more little lengthening action before you twist. Stay here or come up, elevating the back knee. Just make sure you're not dumping into it. Stay nice and lifted. Hands to your heart. Two more breaths. Coming back to center, drop your right knee if it's lifted. Inhale, crescent moon. Lift off, airplane arms, crescent lunge. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lengthen your neck. Inhale, warrior two. So simply drop the back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Left heels in line with the back heel or the middle arch. All right, Skandasana, bring the hands to your heart, bend the right knee and come onto the left heel. Stay here or come all the way down on this first one. So if you keep your left toes flexed, the more you're gonna get in the hamstring. So just like the other side, right hand to the floor, pushing into your thigh. Inhale, left arm high. Come back, hands to heart. Inhale. Open up, back to warrior two. Exhale. Settle in on your inhale. Double check your footprint. Extended side. Elbow to knee. Right knee to the sky. Or you can drop that left, your left hand. From here, you're going to come to horse, and I'm going to turn around again so you can see me. It's kind of weird. All right, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up, star pose. Hands to heart, sink into your hips. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. I hope I'm not breathing too loud here. All right, stay here. Keep sinking your hips down, bring your hands to the floor, turn your toes parallel. Prasarita again, this time maybe a little more intensity. We'll open it up. Inhale, hands to your heart. Skandasana, bend the left knee. Straighten the right leg, good. Stay on the inhale. Exhale, open it back up, warrior two. Let's do that again. Inhale, hands to heart, skandasana. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, hands, skandasana. Nice, now we got it. And warrior two, stay here. Next, inhale, reach forward. Like your waist is a telescope. Extended side angle, any variation, hand to the sky or over the ear line. All right, now this transition, drop your left hand to the floor, pivot onto your left toes, twisted low lunge. We're gonna move into side plank here and feel free to put your left knee down, float the right leg, side plank. Make sure your left shoulder is right over your wrist. 
I always modify it by putting this left knee down. And three, you're gonna come back to plank, but bring your knee to your nose, your right knee to your nose. Two and one. Plank, right knee to the nose. Slide your right leg underneath your left, drop your left heel to the mat. This inhale, fall in triangle, left arm high. Good. In three, two, and one. Knee to nose. Maybe Akapata high plank, maybe regular. Chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. All right, let's get the left side. Inhale, left leg high. All the way through, low lunge. Inhale, back to low lunge. Drop your right knee, crescent moon, inhale. Rise up, airplane arms, crescent lunge. Inhale, warrior two. All right, settle in on your exhale. Skandasana, hands to heart. Bend the right knee, come onto the left heel. All right, inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Again, inhale, skandasana. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Again, any variation. Drop the right hand, pivot onto the right toes. Inhale, twisted low lunge. All right, transition, side plank. Keep the right shoulder right over your right wrist. Again, feel free to put that right knee down. In five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand down, left knee hugs into the nose. Fall in triangle. Drop your right heel, slide the left foot through, right arm high. So your arms are at 12 and six o'clock. In three, two, and one. Knee to nose, Ekapada high plank. Chaturanga, up dog, to downward facing up dog. All right, two breaths there, I'm gonna fix this. Breathe, then we're gonna do it again. All right guys, here we go, breath to movement. Breath first, inhale, right leg high. Knee to nose, step it through to low lunge. Inhale, press the hips down, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, pyramid. Inhale, back to low lunge. Drop the left knee, exhale. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane arms, crescent lunge, squeeze. Open it up, inhale, warrior two. Bring the hands to your heart, skandasana left. Stay here for a moment. Stay on the inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Two more, inhale, skandasana, hands to heart. Exhale, warrior two. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Now look over the right fingertips. Telescope the right waist reach. Extended side angle. Drop the left hand, pivot the left toes. Inhale, right on high. Exhale, side plank. Rainbow the hips up, maybe lift the right leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right knee to the nose, hug it in. Slide it underneath the left, drop the left heel. Fall in triangle. Three, two, and one. Left hand down, knee to nose. Ekapada high plank. Any variation dog to downward facing dog. I'm starting to breathe here. Inhale, left leg high. Low lunge. Inhale, press the hips down, lift the chest. Exhale, fold pyramid. 
Inhale, low lunge. Drop the right knee. Exhale. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, crescent lunge. Airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana. So straighten the left leg. Open it up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Open it up, warrior two. One more. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, twisted low lunge. Drop the right hand, pivot. Left arm high. Good. Side plank. Last one here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand down. Left knee to the nose. Slide it through. Drop the right heel. Fall in triangle. Three, two, and one. Right hand down, left knee to the nose. We want a really good chaturanga if you're doing them. Up dog to downward facing dog. Nice work. From here, jump or step through to seated. So come onto your back. I think I'll face, I'll face this way. So we're going to come into boat. So grab behind your knees. Use that as leverage, shoulders back and down. Then lift one foot at a time. Now you're always welcome to stay right here. Okay, we're going to do the kickouts, but what I don't want is this collapse. So stay up here. From here, you can reach forward, bring your knees almost to touch your nose. Bring the hands to your heart and press it out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, press. <sighs> Inhale. Open up, exhale here. <sighs> Inhale, I'll try not to breathe so loud. <laughs> exhale. Give me eight. <sighs> Seven. Six. Five. Four. And three. We'll hold the low point. Two. Last one. Hold it here. Chest lifted. Three, two, and one. Back to boat. Feel free to put your toes down for this next one. Hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. And we're just going to go back and forth. You can keep the feet down or up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Come all the way onto your back into soup to bata. So butterfly the feet together. Give me a little, little mini break here. So when you're doing these next ones, make sure that you draw your belly in so the lower back is touching the floor. You don't want to have a big arch. All right, so lower back down. You can keep your feet on the ground or lift them an inch if you want a little bit more. Hands behind the head, chin up, inhale. As you exhale, bring it straight up. <sighs> inhale, lower two inches, exhale up. <sighs> two inches as you're lower. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here. Now I'm going to be really mean. Hold it up here. Bring your toes up so the toes are just touching. You're staying lifted. Inhale. And bring your right elbow to your right knee. Exhale. Inhale to the lifted center. Exhale up. Little knee. Lift. Twist. Lift. Twist. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and last one. Ooh, bring the knees into the chest. Roll around, maybe some figure eights. And we're gonna move into bridge pose. So if you wanna do, we'll do two of them. So if you wanna do two back bends, feel free to do that. If you wanna do two bridges, I'll show you that. So the same foot setup is for back bends. Feet are hip width distance. Your heels are, you can just touch them with your fingertips. And then you wanna look up. So just listen to my cue. Lift the hips and then lift the chest. See if you can roll onto the shoulder blades and clasp the hands. So if your neck doesn't love this, try to look up a little bit, create more space from your chin to your throat. And then draw the knees just a little bit closer together. I realize you can't see them, but they should be about four inches apart. Lift, keep lifting, don't let gravity win. Lift the hips, lift the chest. Two more breaths. And then release your shoulder shelf, release your hands, and roll it all the way down. All right, so we'll do one more. If you want, you can roll out the lower back a little bit. So again, if you're gonna do a back bend, your hands come by your head, but don't, don't let your elbows flop out. Keep your arms parallel. Okay, so either way, bridge, I'm gonna do bridge. If you wanna do wheel, do wheel. Here we go, lift the hips. If you're coming to bridge, maybe come to your head first, or if you're coming to wheel, come to your head first, and then exhale into the back bend. And in, in that wheel pose, or even in bridge, can be challenging, lion's breath. Probably sounds like I'm doing lion's breath right now. Come down from your wheel, bring your chin to your chest, drop the shoulders down. And then we come all the way down. Bring the knees into your chest. Let's roll out the spine. Play around with this. You can roll back and forth. See if you can come up to Utanasana without your hands. Straight up. Forward fold. From here, bring your toes to touch or under the hips, your choice. Soften the knees, we're coming all the way up, mountain pose. Inhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. Any variation. Back through to downward dog. All right, little time, little fun time here. Inhale, right leg high. Slowly knee through to low lunge. All right, this time, walk it around Prasarita, and I've got some options for you. You can simply intensify your wide leg forward fold, grab the outsides of the feet, use your biceps to pull forward. If you wanna come into a headstand, move your feet back. Your hands are the two bottom corners of the triangle and your head is the top, right? Your elbows and wrists are in line. If you have neck issues, you don't, don't do this. You can come to tripod. Then bring the knees into the chest and lengthen up. So you're either here or in wide leg forward fold. It's good to get upside down. It's good for your immune system. Just feels good. Gets things moving around. Two more breaths. And then slowly Try to come back the same way you came in, and we'll come back to Prasarita. Back to that wide leg forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Walk it back to the front of your mat. Make sure your feet have their own lanes because we're going to come to warrior one. Drop the back, left heel. Your foot's now at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, the arms up. All right, bring your hands to your ribs and draw your ribs forward. Then commit to your right knee. Inhale, lengthen up. From here, we're going to come to eagle arms. So bring the arms to the sides. Right arm comes, comes under left. So if you have shoulder issues, you can just bring your hands to your shoulders. If not, you're going to bring your palms. And then inhaling, reach your fingertips towards the sky. And as you exhale, hinging forward, humble warrior. Stabilize by dragging your heels together. You can stay up here or maybe come all the way to the floor. A couple breaths. Drop your head if that's not too disturbing to your balance. All right, keep the extension. When you come back up, keep reaching forward, nice and slow. Four, three, two, and one. All right, turn towards the front again. Root down through the four corners of your right foot. We're gonna come to full eagle. Find a focal point. Slowly, like you're moving through molasses, left leg comes up and over. Maybe it hooks. Maybe you keep the toe down. From here, lift the fingertips, soften the shoulders. Coming to, to a flying eagle, it's not what you think. Hug it in, you're gonna round the back, bring the knees and the elbows to touch. Then squeeze the arms and legs like crazy for three, two squeeze, and one. Release into chair pose. All right, you should be able to see your toes. Neutralize the lower back, draw the lower ribs in. Bring the hands to your heart and lengthen. Left elbow on the right knee and twist. You can stay here or open the arms. Maybe the left hand finds the floor or maybe you wanna come into side crow. You'll keep the pressure on the right thigh. Hands come out, your right hand slightly ahead of your left. I have a cactus right here I'm gonna hit. You can lift off. Maybe extend the knee. But wherever you are, we'll meet in forward fold. Just kind of a ragdoll forward fold. All right. From forward fold, mountain pose. Inhale, we'll do the other side. Hands to heart, reset. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Plant your hands, any vinyasa. I'm doing my knees down version. Hips to heels. Up dog. And then we meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale all the way through, low lunge. Again, feet have their own lane. Spin the right heel flat, 45 degrees. Inhale, up you go, warrior one. All right, hands to the lower ribs. Lower ribs forward. Left knee's moving towards 90 degrees. Super strong through your back foot. Inhale, the arms up. Bring the arms to the sides. This time it's left arm under right. Eagle the arms or opposite shoulders. Inhale, reach the fingertips towards the sky. Draw your heels together and fold forward. Keep the extension. Wherever you end. Finding stability, drag the heels together. And nice and slow, keep the extension. So the fingers, the spine are long. Four, three, two, and one. Got 
the center. All right, root down through the four corners of your left foot. Here we go, slow motion. Eagle, right leg over left. You can always keep that toe down. Lift the elbows, soften the shoulders. All right, here we go. Inhale, flying eagle. Elbows come to the knees, around the back. Hug it in. Three, squeeze really tight. Two, and unwrap into chair. Feet together, sink the hips, arms go up. Hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen. Elbow to the outer thigh. Don't let that right knee pop forward. Lengthen and then bringing the hands to your heart. Stay here. Fingertips to the floor. We're moving into side prep. This time, you're really pushing into the left thigh. Place the hand down. The left hand is slightly above the right. So I like this variation. You're welcome to do any variation. So if you're just practicing, do little lifts. And if you're done with, you don't want to lift off, move to Nasana forward fold. Nice work. Do the other side. Hands to heart. Reset. Inhale. Open it up. Exhale. Open your heart. Inhale. Mountain pose. And exhale. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway. Plant your hands. Any vinyasa. I'm doing my knees down version. Hips to heels. Up dog. And then we meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale all the way through, low lunge. Again, feet have their own lane. Spin the right heel flat 45 degrees. Inhale, up you go, warrior one. All right, hands to the lower ribs. Lower ribs forward. Left knee's moving towards 90 degrees. Super strong through your back foot. Inhale, the arms up. Bring the arms to the sides. This time it's left arm under right. Eagle the arms or opposite shoulders. Inhale, reach the fingertips towards the sky. Draw your heels together and fold forward. Keep the extension. Wherever you end. Finding stability, drag the heels together. And nice and slow, keep the extension. So the fingers, the spine are long. Four, three, two, and one. Back to center. All right, root down through the four corners of your left foot. Here we go, slow motion. Eagle, right leg over left. You can always keep that toe down. Lift the elbows, soften the shoulders. All right, here we go. Inhale, flying eagle. Elbows come to the knees, around the back. Hug it in. Three, squeeze really tight. Two, and unwrap into chair. Feet together, sink the hips, arms go up. Hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen. Elbow to the outer thigh. Don't let that right knee pop forward. Lengthen and then bringing the hands to your heart. Stay here. Fingertips to the floor. We're moving into side prep. This time, you're really pushing into the left thigh. Place the hand down. The left hand is slightly above the right. So I like this variation. You're welcome to do any variation. So if you're just practicing, do little lifts. And if you're done with, you don't want to lift off, Uttanasana, forward fold. Nice work. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, high plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. To downward facing dog.
Inhale the right leg high. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Press into it. Extend the left leg, it's parallel, hips are square. And then fold into your sleeping pigeon. Maybe it's the elbows. Now if this bugs your knee or hurts your knee, then you get to come onto your back and do the figure four. Okay? So this is where we really need to notice, is it pain or is it just uncomfortable? So marinate here for a few breaths. If you want to add a little extra, you can thread the left hand through so the palms up, sink onto that left shoulder, extend the right arm forward. Sometimes that's a little too much on your knee joint, so be mindful of that. Twisted. Come back to sleeping pigeon. Couple breaths. And when that chatter starts to happen, that's when you fire up your breath. Slowly walk the hands back up. And have you roll onto your right hip and straddle the legs to the sides. Alright, from here. Bring your hands behind your hips. I just want you to have a nice, tall spine. You can try the horse. All right, so if you're rounding, sit on a pillow. Uh, just something so that your pelvis tilts forward. From here, once you have the length, then you can walk it out and fold. breaths. Try to make sure you're breathing deeply. So again, when we get uncomfortable, that breath gets nice and not nice, gets shallow. Go ahead and walk your hands back up. And then we're going to do half pigeons with the left leg. So you can bend the left leg. Uh, actually, I got one more for you. <laughs> One more for you. Bend your left knee so your foot is in, so your left foot is. This is Wheel of Life. And then bring your right knee to the middle of your left foot. Okay. Bend the hands again. Go behind you to find length. Inhale. And then exhale. Walk towards your left leg. Keep walking, walking, walking. Then maybe come to one elbow, maybe two. And then drop your head. And again, it's super hard to breathe when you're twisting. So really find that intention to breathe deeply. And if you're on your elbows, come back up to your hands. Walk it back to your mat. Set up your hands for down dog. And then let your body follow. Down dog, home base. Take a breath or two here to reset, and then we'll do the left side. Inhale the left leg high. Left knee comes to the left wrist. Drop the shin. Line up your right leg. Again, you can hold your left foot with your right hand. Square up the hips. And then fold into Sleeping Pigeon. And if you want to add that little extra, it's the right hand that goes under, palm is up, and then the left hand extends.
just breathe. Wow, somebody really needs to clean the dog hair off this floor. <laughs> Settle in, breathe through any uncomfortableness. came to the, um, the twist, come back to your sleeping pigeon for two breaths. And then walk the hands back up. We're gonna come to straddle again. So coming to your straddle, same setup, but we're gonna stretch the obliques this time. So hands behind the hips, nice and tall. This time extend the arms up. Bring your right hand up and under. You can push into your right thigh with your uh, right tricep. And then open to the side. So that gives you a little leverage to roll the left ribs towards the sky. So keep this in the side body. Try not to let the left shoulder drop. And reach in for the toes. Two more breaths. Nice guys, come on up, both arms up, breathe lengthen. And then bringing the left arm, pressing into the left thigh, open the side body, roll the right ribs towards the sky. Two more breaths. And then up you go. Inhale. And bringing the hands down. Let's come to seated supdivada. So bring the feet together. You can grab a hold of your ankles, pull the heels towards your groin. And then rock a little bit, find your sit bones. Press the knees down as you lift the chest. And then we're going to move into cobbler's pose by simply walking your hands out and folding. Just let the shoulders fall heavy, your head fall heavy. Walk it back. This time you're going to come all the way onto your back. Reclined, soup to bottom. All the way onto your back. Let's bring a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly. Go ahead and bring your knees together like a book and then into your chest. Send your legs up, your imaginary wall. Scooch down. So feel free to stay right here. This is a great neutralizer for your lower back. Or if you enjoy doing halasana plow, press the palms into the floor, lift the hips up high, and bring the toes behind your head. And if your toes aren't touching, support the lower back.
fingers and your toes. And take one more, one big stretch from head to toe, fingertips reach the back of the room, heels press towards the front. Take in a big sip of air and just sigh it out. Bending one knee at a time. Come onto your side body. The most comfortable sleeping position, that is for me anyway. Take a couple breaths again, identifying the tension that still is in your physical body. Maybe it's in your emotional body. And just let it go. And when you're ready, take your time. We'll meet in a seated position. And close your eyes, bring your hands, palms down on your knees. And just bring your attention again uh, to the intention that we, we talked about about the little things and, and think about something that you can do today for someone that would be one of those little things, the things that people remember when you're no longer around. The little things, the things that make life so rich. to your heart space. Thank you guys so very, very much for joining me today. Um, let me know <laughs> what worked and what didn't. I don't know about playing the music there at the end, but uh, I like music. So maybe next time I'll put music on throughout the whole class. But again, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you for joining me today for the True Yoga community, for all my friends and family, bringing your thumbs to your third eye. As Jai Jagdish says in that song I just played, be strong, be kind, and be brave. Namaste. How'd it go, guys? Unmute yourselves. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. 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 guys. Have a beautiful day, Nika. <laughs> Have a beautiful love day. You, I love you guys. Thanks so much. Um, Again, let me know if there's anything that could have gone better. I could have done better. And uh, I hope to see you guys out of your homes someday soon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Mwah. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. all kinds of pets getting in people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I love it. I'm glad that mine weren't. <laughs> I saw it on my couch, too. I need to clean there, too, like you were noticing the rock here. <laughs> it's all over me. Good job, Marta. Thank you. Thanks, Marta. It was awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks. We're so happy to see you all here as best as we can. Much yep. love. Much love. Thank, thank thanks so much for let, making this happen, Beth. <laughs> Thanks, Aga. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Marty. Thanks, guys. Get outside. It's a beautiful day for a hike, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Thanks, Kathleen. <laughs>
and log it off. Have a great rest of your day.